All right, hello, welcome. Uh, this will be another virtual lesson for Brentano. Uh, this will be for our guitar players. So, um, so we've started talking about Eye of the Tiger. Uh, so we're going to get more into that today. Um, but first things first, let's make sure we're all tuned up. So let's take a moment, uh, pause the video if you need to, uh, check up with your tuners. Uh, again, if you don't have one, you can look. Uh, you can use a phone or an iPad or a computer. You can find uh, find one pretty easily just by googling it. Um, so let's I'll go over it real quick. We have an E. I'm all tuned here, so you can go over these notes if need be. Then we have an A, and I'm gonna go kind of quickly through this because I want to get to some more stuff. But uh, then we have a D. So let's keep rolling here. If you need to, again, pause the video, make sure we're all in tune. Um, but so I want to go over Eye of the Tiger today. So let's go over a little bit of what we should already kind of know. So we've already got our intro. We've talked about that. So we've got the So those are our notes. I'll go over it real quick. We've got a C. And we're going to be playing this up on the eighth fret of our E string. Then we have a B flat, so we go down to our sixth fret of our E string. E here, so uh, C, C, B flat, C, C, B flat, C. And let's try again to use our third finger on that C, so we can kind of stay in that nice, stay in that nice sort of quick position. So it's pretty easy for us to maneuver between a uh, a B flat and a C. So again, C. C B flat C C B flat C C G that's our third fret on our E string A flat so that is our uh, fourth fret on our A string so all together let's let's do it together one two ready go one. power chords. So that's when we play the first note and the fifth note. So we call that the fifth because it is five tones in the major scale or minor scale up from the note that we're first uh, landing on. So we would call that our root. That's like our, our root note. So, so we can, I'll show you here. I won't get too detailed into this, but just so we know. Uh, we have one, two, three, doing that is I take my first finger, which is on a C. Again, I'm starting on that C on the eighth fret. And, and I'm going to go up to that tenth fret there. So, so jumping up a string, I'm staying on the A string there. And I've got my first finger on the eighth fret. My third finger on the 10th fret. So again, if you're playing it with just one finger, which is totally fine, try and use your third finger. If you feel up to it, try and get those power chords involved there. And that's going to be the same position for every chord. So you take your first finger and you go up, you go up two more frets, and then you jump over a string. And then you play what you were playing with the first finger again. And you hit that note on the second string. So again, that second string is on the 10th fret. So we have 8th fret, 10th fret. And you take that exact position. And don't even take your fingers off the frets. You can even still push down. And you get kind of a slide. You can hear those tones. So start working on power chords a little bit. And it's going to be that shape for 
going down to G and also going to A flat. So that's our third fret and our fourth fret on this string. So it holds that little kind of cro uh, claw shape you have. So work on that a little bit. Uh, continue to practice that intro part. But I want to get into some new stuff here today. Um, so that is going to be our verse. Let's get into our chorus today. Um, so our chorus is going to start on F, our first, our first fret, our lowest fret. I'll just cover the roots for now, and then we can try to apply our power chord. So our F is our first note on the first fret, and then we go to an E flat. So I'm playing this E flat. We could also play E flat up here. I would recommend sliding up to this sixth fret E flat because our next note is going to be a B flat and we could just jump down one string we're, in the, we're already in the right spot so there's a couple different ways we can play that I'm going to introduce this sixth fret E flat so we're starting down here F E flat E flat F so that's going to be like the first section first little part of this chorus so work on that we're gonna go four beats on F one two three four and then two beats on E flat one two and then two beats on B flat one two so all together it'll sound like this Now we can add in our next little section to this chorus, where we're going to go from C, so we should know where C is, we use C quite a bit, so that's our third fret on our A string, our second string, our second low string, so we're going to go, coming out of the first part, we'll land on F again, we'll do four more counts on F, and then we go C, B flat, and this time we're going to use the B flat that is on the first fret of our A string. Flat here, so you can hear this note, and then you can hear this note. They're both the exact same notes, right? So just, just being played on different strings. So so far, up to this point, we have F, two, three, four, B flat, B flat, F, two, three, four, C. Just to go over the rhythm of that second one we just talked about, where we go to C, um, that one happens again. We'll count four on F. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. So we need to make sure we count out the rest of that measure once we ha once we hang on B flat. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four. So that C and B flat comes in on one and two. So we're gonna be going from F again. We'll do. One, differs from our E flat and B flat, the first one, because we're going to be staying on those for two beats each. So I'll play this whole thing together. Try and, try and play along if you can. So ready? One, two, ready, go. F, two, three, four. E flat, two, B flat, F, two, three, four. C, progression all together that's going to be like 90 percent of our chorus i have a new lick that we'll talk about probably in the next video but today i want to really kind of harp on that part and also getting our hands comfortable playing power chords so power chords are something we'll we'll be using uh, a lot more of we're going to be using those constantly it's kind of like just a guitar player. we use them all the time as a guitar player so again we're going to go two frets up Three, three frets up from our first note, but you're just going to climb 
one fret to another fret, to two frets, jumping up to that third fret, and then move your third finger over to that second string, to that next string. So you're still going to play. So for this one, I'm the, in this example, I'm using F. So we're going to have F and C, and we're going to play those at the same time. neutral harmony, so it doesn't have it doesn't have as many implications as a chord like that does, which sounds very major, or a chord like this, which sounds very minor. That's because we have what is the third in there. So the third is much more of a leading tone in terms of telling us is that a major chord or is it a minor chord? So right now we're not gonna worry about that. We just want to worry about our first and our fifth. So get those two down. So continue to work on that. And at points you might see me, I might be, it might look like I'm using my pinky. You know, if it helps to have your pinky in there, or if you're using your third finger, causing you to like cramp up or whatever. I mean, then there's a little bit of a learning curve. You have to get your fingers, you know, a little bit up to, to strength to play those power chords. Um, so if it helps, you know, throw your pinky on there, you can do it with your pinky. I would recommend trying to get your third finger, trying to get your third finger as, uh, as consistent and, and frequent as possible. So that'll be for today's lesson. Continue to work on power chords. Um, listen to the song a lot. Uh, try and internalize some of the parts there and continue to work on what we've already learned. And we will get into uh, the rest of it. There's another really cool part coming up. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys. So that'll be for the next lesson. Um, and we will see you then. So stay safe and enjoy. <laughs>